In this introductory tutorial, we will look at some of the challenges in defining shelf life. But let's first note that uh, today's consumers demand safe foods. They want consistent quality attributes in those foods and also minimal changes in the sensory quality of the food from the time of purchase to consumption. Now, food manufacturers must meet these demands and also respond to any regulations on shelf life dating of their products on the packages. Therefore, an understanding of the food stability during storage is vital and also to combat food losses during storage and distribution, the knowledge of various causes of food degradation is necessary to develop strategies that can help minimize food losses. To determine shelf life, the food manufacturers attempt to predict the end point of storage life under assumed storage and distribution conditions. The end point may be based on the following two criteria. Microbiological criteria. These are based on the number of spoilage or pathogenic microorganisms and their growth patterns. And non-microbiological criteria that are more difficult since they are based on the desired sensory characteristics. On the other hand, criteria related to the chemical composition of the food are somewhat easier to establish. For example, the loss of some nutritional component may be measured using routine tests during a certain storage period. Many foods may stay microbiologically safe, yet their sensory characteristics may change by a wide margin and may not be tolerated by the consumers. The acceptable sensory characteristics of a given food are usually defined by the company policy. Some have actually referred to this exercise as percentage of consumers a manufacturer is willing to displease. So what are some of the challenges in defining shelf life of foods? Well, a definition of shelf life by the Institute of Food Technologists uh, from 1974 notes that the shelf life is the period between manufacturer and retail purchase of a food product during which the product is of satisfactory quality. The Institute of Food Science and Technology IFST uh, also in 1993 suggested that shelf life is defined as the time during which the product will a remain safe b be certain to retain desired sensory chemical physical and microbiological characteristics and c comply with any label declaration of nutritional data when stored under recommended conditions so let us look at these two definitions in these two definitions, the terms satisfactory quality, desired characteristics are highly ambiguous terms that often lead to confusion when used in practice. So what do we mean really by satisfactory quality? Similarly, stored under the recommended conditions does not address the thermal abuse of the product in the distribution segment of the food chain. This problem can be addressed if the manufacturer has a complete understanding of the product and how it will deteriorate under different environmental conditions. In most cases, food products tend to be complex and therefore such knowledge is not readily available. The lack of information about the deteriorative mechanisms of complex foods with complex structures cause lack of precision in predicting shelf life. We will examine some of these issues in more detail and see how we can build some precision into studies related to shelf life in some of the following tutorials.